I'm going to show you how to find all four of the seasonal stags in God of War Ragnarok. Also, in order to start this quest, you just have to find one, and then uh, the bitter spirit of Ratatoskr will tell you to come back to the uh, Sindri's house, talk to Ratatoskr. That'll start the actual official quest. Then you can do something about these stags. Now, all this takes place at the crater and the jungle uh, over in Vanheim. Now, if you need to know how to get to the crater, I will link in the description of this video. I will link um, to my other video that shows how to do the Scent of Survival side quest, which comes, I think, after the second time you go to Vanheim. And if you do that quest, it'll it'll take you to the crater. So anyway, once you're at the crater, um, so from this starting point, you'll you'll know once you've been here. There's a, there's a way to get right there. Um, so let's go ahead and just get going into it. So let's start off with the one on the right. So we go over this way. And we need to run over... Oh, my God. <laughs> If they will let me run over. Okay. Uh, so we're going to run over this way. Jump down here. And then we're going to go down here. So we need to go over to this side area with this rope. To oh my gosh. They do not want me to show you. All right. Go down. Be to here. And then once you've made it to the sinkholes, you're going to head left. Or not left. Nope. You're going to head right towards the purple thing. Got mixed up. Okay. Then we're going to pull out the Leviathan Axe. We're going to hit that or else you just die instantly when you go over here. To go over here and then take back the axe after this little, little moment here. You can already see the stag. Tremors. Okay, so if you have the water, the water's, if you've risen the, the water, you can just take this boat across, maybe? Actually, no, I don't think there's a way to land on the other side. Well, in that, in that case, just go ahead and jump across this. All right, so there you go. That'll activate the way gate, and then it'll also take you over to this seasonal stag. And if you've uh, already accepted the quest, which I think I have, uh, which, again, the quest is at Sindri's house. And uh, you can get it from Ratatoskr after going to this. You go to one of these. They'll tell you to go to Sindri's house. You go to Sindri's house. Come back. Then activate the stag once you have the item that you need. And that is how to return the stag. But this is just the first stag. There's four stags in this zone that we need to um, get you to. So we're going to off-screen feed him, apparently. That's right. We got more food at home. Come on. I have to say... Quite a nice change of pace helping these stags get home. All right. Moment, so that is the first stag. Us. Yes. Now what you're going to do is the best way to do this is just go ahead and take this way gate yes. now and reset back to where I was. And at least if you want to keep up with me, if you have all the way gates and stuff, then once you see where I'm going, you can, uh, you know, go to whichever one you think is faster. But yeah, let's go ahead and go to go back to that one. All right. It'll spit you out right here. If you go to the one that I just went to and the first time you come here, just going right where I'm looking will activate the um, side quest. It's called For Vanaheim. And it'll have you go over here. Now, I already flooded the crater, unfortunately. But there's a path that you would take down there that will have you jump across. You know what? Let me load a different save and show you. All right. So if you have not flooded the river, it'll look more like this. And you don't have to flood the river to get any of these stags, I think. So you have to go down here to cross... Jump across this, jump across this, and then go over to here and climb up this. I'm going to show you the whole step process to do this. I don't want to leave anyone out in the rain if you're not sure what to do. So uh, go all the way over here. Now we need to go through that gate on the right, but we can't do it till nighttime. And in order to change it to nighttime, we have to get to one of those shrines. I forget what they're called. So uh, go ahead and pull out the spear just over this hill are these things kill one of them and then keep going drop down here and then you are going to jump across this and then you're going to jump across this and then you're going to climb up this and now we can change it to nighttime which will make those roots um, recede back into the ground and will let us go through that door. So uh, you can't even get to this place till after you get this item, I think. I think the side quest called Scent of Survival doesn't even open up until the second time you go to Vanaheim. So you should, in theory, have this by the time you're here, this tool that you get from the wolves who can change day to night. 
a night and day. Okay, so now that that's activated, you can activate this, which will let you climb back up here anytime. And now what you need to do is you need to kill uh, this troll that's trying to beat through that door. And that'll also make you fight any of the other enemies here. And this is where I'm gonna swap to my other save file. Okay, so once all that's dead, you're gonna go through here. And you're gonna go left. And then you're gonna go right. And then from here, there's a path right here on the right. You can go through here, creep through here, and this is where you have to fight that dragon for the quest, the Ford Vanaheim quest. Uh, I'm pretty much gonna skip me fighting the dragon, uh, or maybe I'll like turn the speed up or whatever. Maybe I'll give some tips real fast, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, this dragon, you have to kill this thing before you can get through here to the stag. All right, so the Crimson Dread. Uh, a uh, pretty standard dragon fight if you fought any of these guys. And they're honestly really a pain in the butt fight. The main things to watch out for is the breath attack at his feet. And later on, he'll use a breath attack in a line. And the line breath attack is probably the most dangerous. So watch out for that. And then other than that, it's not too bad in the early stages of the fight. I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up or skip it. Once he goes in the air, you'll need to pull out your spear, and then you need to throw the spear at him as he's coming in, in order to uh, knock him down. Alright, so that's the dragon fight. After that, you can complete the four Vanaheim quest. But the four Vanaheim quest is not what we're after. We are just after the stags. And this guy's guarding one. Okay. So now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna pick up all his loot real fast so you can see it on the side as we do the rest. Give you something to look at. Alright, so now what you need to do is you need to climb up this on the east side of the room. And up here, there will be a chest to your left, which I'm just gonna ignore for now. Don't wanna waste your time with me looting that random chest, but there it is. And then right here is Burgear, which I'm just gonna ignore him. I'll talk to him some other time. I don't have time for him. Don't have time for your crap, Burgear. All right, so here's the stag. This is the stag of winter. Come on already. Just come back with me. I don't care how So the last two stags are basically in the jungle. And to get to the jungle, I'm gonna have to go to my other save file because I flooded the river, so I can't show you how to get to the jungle. So after, let, after this little cutscene, I will uh, we'll go to save. All right, so that was the stag of winter. The next stag is just right in the middle of the jungle. The other one's in a hidden side area in the jungle. So the uh, the jungle is down here, and the fastest way get it would be like right here. So either just, I'm just gonna fast travel to this on my other save, basically. All right, so from that spot that you were, we were at, that mystic way gate or whatever that we unlocked right here, um, you're going to jump off and it has to be night. Keep that in mind, don't change it back today. It needs to be night. So you're gonna go over here and then wrap around to here, follow the ledge on the right. And if it's nighttime, there were some roots over here that were blocking a path and now they won't be blocking the path. So right here was where the path was blocked. And now you can go over here since it's nighttime. You can jump down to here and then cross this gap. A river once ran through here. 
bringing life to all manner of flora and fauna. Then from here, you'll go up to here. Odin had something to do with it, didn't he? Aye. And go into this cave. Now you'll have to fight these enemies because they uh, there's a thing that you have to climb, and you won't be able to climb it unless these guys are dead because they'll put you in combat. So ideally, you just want to knock them into that hole behind them, but they don't necessarily always want to cooperate. So there we go. That's the fast way to kill them. Go through here. Watch out for the explodey plant. Watch out for that explodey plant. And then you're going to go over this gap from this long climb and shimmy over sequence. So, uh, yeah. This, this takes a moment, but, yep. <laughs> but, yep. All right, we're gonna jump down, shimmy our way over, and grab that lore if you want it. Watch out for the explodey thing, but this right here, you can break it. So we're gonna climb up here, go over to here, jump across to this, and voila, you have now made it to the jungle. So now we've unlocked a mystic gateway, and we can go ahead and get the other stag. Now, in order to get the stag, you're gonna have to flood the river. So, in order to flood the river, you're gonna have to go down here. You can go around this, but instead I'm gonna throw this. There's some hacks over there if you want it. Some enemies are right here, and you're gonna have to fight them, and they're gonna take a moment, so I'm gonna skip the fight. So once those enemies are dead, you're gonna climb up here. And uh, go up here. Look, I'll be damned. And there's a joke about the dam. So we need to go up to that dam and we need to return the flow of the water in order to get at one of the last two stags. So that'll start the quest, the return of the river. I'm gonna see if I can just skip this fight. I think I can. I don't feel like fighting those wolves. They actually respawn because they're used for a different quest. But even if you kill them, they'll come back actually. All right. So we're gonna light that on fire and take this to go up. And then there will be a fight with some enemies, which uh, you can actually kind of cheese them a little bit and go really fast on them. There's something that you can do where you can knock one off and then after that you can pull the others to their death. So what you do here is you go up to this guy, he'll block and then immediately slam him and then beat on him. Then go for a pull on this guy. And then, oh, I missed it. If you get the pull on that guy right there, it immediately knocks him off as well. So then you're gonna jump across here, pull that guy to his death, and then pull that guy to his death. Unless he, I don't know, where did he go? Anyway, uh, then you're gonna go back to this, you're gonna explode that, then you can crawl through here, which will also start um, from below or something, quest the Drecky quest the boss fight quest. And I have guides for a lot of these quests in the description of this video if you need more help with any of these quests. So you go through here and that happens, that activates a quest, but that's not what we're here for. So what we need to do is we need to take the purple arrows and light up this place with purple arrows. So uh, now we go to our chains, heavy attack with an aim, that gets rid of those. Then swap to the spear. And we can go over to here and we can spear that thing. And then what you want to do is knock these guys into the water if you can. Which will be the fastest way to take them out. Then go to this. Hold down on the left thumbstick to make them come up. So then that will drain the river. And then you can go through here. And there will be a kind of half cut scene right here which will um, just, I don't know, talking about the river and stuff. So I'm actually gonna skip this cutscene because it's like a good 30 Look, seconds or something. You, you don't need it. You can see it yourself if you go do this quest on your own. All right, once that's done, you're gonna immediately rush back over to this lift. If you wanna get that crystal, there was a crystal on the left in the wall right there, but I don't need to get that right now, especially not on this save file since all this is just gonna get erased afterwards. All right, so then once we're through here, it'll activate the quest for killing the dragon, but we don't need to kill the dragon. We're pretty much done. It's time to grab the stag, sort of. Uh, we actually, we kind of have to go through that quest. There's one part of it we have to actually kind of go through. 
So there's the dragon. Now what we need to do is we need to change it to daytime and then we have to go somewhere. So you go through here. Get over to this and we're gonna have to fight these enemies so that we can make it daytime. I'm gonna skip this fight. Once those enemies are dead, you're gonna go up here and take a left. Get up to here and play this in order to swap it again to uh, daytime now. Although really, I guess you could have skipped this. Now that you're the way gate, you could have teleported back to the one, swapped the day, teleported back, and then uh, you still would have had to raise the water though. So never mind. But right after raising the water, you could have teleported that instead of going here, which would have, I don't know, probably cost about the same amount of time. All right, so we're gonna get back on here and we're gonna go to the right. Now you can come around to this island from two different directions. I think the fastest way is gonna be going over here. But we need to go fight those ogres that are on that island. So if you go over here, you can turn left right here. And then make a right. And there's a boat dock up here on our left once we get out of this spot right here. So there's the boat dock. You're gonna get off the boat, on the boat dock. And then you're going to climb through, or, you know, or shimmy through this little gap. And you're gonna wanna kill the enemies that are making these guys invincible first. There are two of them. So you need to come over to this and kill this thing quickly before they fully aggro if you can. And then after that, you're going to run around and try to get around them over to this other one. And then after that, now you're free to fight the ogres, which I'm gonna skip this fight because it'll take a moment. All right, once the ogres are dead, the dragon will carry the ogre off and we are all done here with this spot. Now we're gonna pull out the blades. We're gonna go over to this, grab this on the west side of this little island. Now that it's daytime, we can swing across this and this will lead us to another stag. I don't know which one this is. Is it fall, winter? I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. All right, so Big this one. Boss needs your help coaxing this stag back to the world. Uh, this is the, the one that actually is supposed to start the quest, the I guess. Great. Got a belly full of stag feed, living life, but yeah. Talk I'm not really sure what happened. When you gotta move. Uh, okay, so <laughs> apparently this was the first one I was supposed to do and not what I told you in the beginning. Okay, wait, never mind. I figured it out. I actually grabbed both the other stags on this other save file I had where I'd already gotten feed. So it is whichever stag you see first. So, okay, I was worried for a second. All right, anyway, this is the third stag. All right, so now for the fourth stag. You can just go over here to the north if you want. And this will also open up a shortcut for you so you can more easily return here later to do the quest for the drake. So go ahead and kick this down. And then climb down this. And then climb up this to get the hell out of here. So the next one's actually really close by. So we're gonna get up here and we're gonna head over to this. We're gonna swing across this gap. And then we're gonna pull on this chain. Now you can open that gate without that ogre hulling the at us. You also can't open this until that ogre is dead, just so you know. All right, so now you need to go into this cave and do some stuff in here. So the first thing that's gonna happen is there's this nest here. Now, if you wanna farm these guys for XP, you can, but I'm just trying to do it the fast way, so I'm going straight for the nest, which will make them all die. And then after that, you can uh, spear right here. And then jump across this. And that will bring you up to here. And then right over here is a gap that you can shimmy through. And then obviously you're gonna drop down right here. Now you're gonna go through here and lift up this gate. And there it is, the last stag. Time of rebirth, renewal. All right, so there you go. That is the fourth stag. 
I'm sorry, kid. So hopefully it helps Just you out. I tried to make, I wanted to make this guide to where not only where all the stags are, but also how to actually get to them because I know there's a lot of stuff where it's like you have to flood the river, you have to get to the jungle, you have to swap day, you have to swap night, you have to fight a dragon. Like it's not just here it is, here it is, you know what I mean? And for some of you it is, depending on how you played the game before watching this video. And hopefully for those of you who already did everything and already flooded the river and were still looking for stags, hopefully you could just skip through the video and find what you were looking for. So hopefully it helped everybody equally. And uh, yeah, that's how to find all four of, of the seasonal stags in God of War Ragnarok.